Hello everybody, uh, myself Prasant Mukhavartha, a faculty member, Electrical Engineering Department, Greater Kolkata College of Engineering and Management. Today we will uh, study about uh, the dynamic uh, switching characteristics of SCL. So, switching characteristics are uh, also known as uh, dynamic characteristics, as I told you, this is uh, known as dynamic or switching characteristics or uh, tangent characteristics also. So, the time variations of uh, the voltage across uh, the SCR and uh, the uh, current uh, through it uh, during turn on and turn off process uh, give this uh, dynamic or switching characteristics. So, once again I am repeating. So, switching characteristics basically known as uh, dynamic or transient characteristics and uh, in this uh, characteristic we study basically the time variation of uh, voltage across SCR and uh, current switch during uh, turning on or turning off uh, process. And so this study uh, of this uh, variation of the voltage and the current across uh, voltage across SCR and uh, current it uh, during its turn on and turn off that is the switching uh, uh, so operations is uh, known as uh, dynamic or switching characteristics. So this is the figure which represents uh, the in details the switching characteristics. So we'll uh, so discuss this uh, figure during uh, uh, turning on, uh, turn on and turn off process discussion. So this is our gate pulse which is applied across the. Uh, to the gate uh, to turn on the thyristors. Basically, uh, the thyristor. Uh, this is way is the initial anode voltage, uh, and uh, it has come um, with this. It has come with the switching factors during turn on. So, initial turn on time is uh, defined as the time during which it changes from uh, forward blocking mode to final on state uh, mode. So that was uh, that we have already seen in uh, the IV characteristics of the ACR. So the turn on uh, uh, time can be divided into three intervals. Uh, first one is delay time, second one is the rise time, and third one is the speed time. It is TD, uh, TR, and uh, TP. So this is shown here. Uh, actually, this is TD, and this is rise time here, and this is the speed time. Now we come uh, to the discussion which one is called delay time or what is rise uh, time and what is wait time. So delay time is the uh, time between the instant at which uh, gate current reaches its 90% value that is 0.9 of its final value in the IG uh, to the instant at that time uh, anode current uh, reaches 10% uh, of its uh, Final value that is 0.1 of IA. So uh, IG and IA uh, actually, I told you this is the uh, final value of the gate and this is the final value of IA and final value of the uh, anode current. So here it is shown. See, this is uh, uh, during this time, you see, uh, this is the delay time. So this is the gate current. So it reaches its 90%. Uh, and in this time, uh, this anode current reaches its uh, uh, how much? Uh, this is your, uh, the ten percent of its final value. So this is TD. Now, mm, or uh, the delay time uh, may also uh, defined as the time during which the anode point is uh, falls from its uh, final value of GA uh, to ninety percent of its uh, uh, value VA. Uh, Actually, not initial value, not say uh, is the initial value work of the anode voltage. Or uh, during this is the time during which anode current uh, rises from current leakage current uh, to uh, say 10 percent or 0.1 percent of its final value. So that's uh, shown here. If we uh, see during this time from initial value uh, to the anode voltage falls to its 90 percent value of 0.9 B. And uh, anode current uh, from forward decay current to reach its uh, say 10 percent of its final value. So this is TD, and the rise time. Uh, this is the time uh, taken by the 
uh, annual current uh, to rise from uh, its 10% uh, to 90% of its final value. Or we can say uh, the rise stream is also given as the uh, time required for the forward blocking uh, of state and voltage to fall from 90% to uh, say 10% of its initial value. And that is, I told you, the way. So during this uh, rise time, uh, turn on losses in the financial highest uh, due to high and good is and uh, large and current occurring together in the thyristors. So that is uh, described here. So you see, uh, in terms of annual voltage, we are finding this during this uh, rise time, uh, uh, say from its 90% of the initial value, so annual voltage falls to 10% of, of its uh, initial value. And, uh, uh, during this time, the anode current uh, rises from say 10 percent to 90 percent of its final value, and you find uh, here uh, due to this high anode voltage and high anode current, so this loss, power loss, uh, is maximum. So this is to be a and I. So this is maximum. Okay. Now uh, we come to the spare time. So this is the time uh, taken by the anode current uh, uh, to rise from 90% uh, uh, of its uh, final value to its final value. So it is shown here. This is spread time. This anode current from 90% to its final value. This idea. Uh, the current, 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 whatever it is. And uh, uh, during this uh, time, uh, the forward blocking voltage uh, to fall from remaining 10% to its uh, uh, say final uh, value or initial 10% of initial value to the on state voltage. So that is only see uh, this one. Okay, this is the this is on stop uh, on state voltage drop of here. Uh, this is the load current during uh, the on state uh, and this uh, this operation this region is known as the steady state of oxygen. Now, mm, so this is all about uh, your uh, the characteristics of the internal. Now we'll come to the uh, characteristics and switching characteristics during turn up. Now, this uh, uh, turn up means uh, that it has uh, changed uh, from on state to off state and. Uh, is capable of blocking the power voltage. So oh, this dynamic process of the issue from conduction state uh, to power blocking state is called uh, the commutation process or turn off process. Okay. So um, once again, I'm telling uh, from uh, switching, uh, changing from turn on to turn off state, uh, and uh, that is from power blocking state uh, to the. Uh, uh, say, if I say from one state, uh, conduction state to power blocking state, is known as the time of uh, commutation process. Now, if forward voltage is uh, uh, applied uh, to the ACR uh, at the moment its uh, anode current falls to zero, uh, the device will not be able to block this uh, forward voltage as uh, because of uh, the steel carriers in the four layers of steel uh, favorable for conduction. So uh, the device will therefore go into conduction immediately even though a uh, big signal is not applied. So uh, this is a problem. So to solve this problem, uh, it is essential uh, that the thyristor is uh, reverse first for a finite clip of the time it contains uh, is zero. So this uh, the uh, say uh, carriers uh, which are still remaining in the four layers uh, of the uh, um, mm, ACRs, uh, they are uh, say, making uh, the ACR capable for conduction even after uh, uh, say giving me some power blocking voltage. So that's why uh, uh, to make ACR of so register is reverse first for finite fuel uh, to then because it is zero. Now turn off time that is TQ is defined uh, the time between the instant anode current becomes zero and the instant is here uh, regains forward blocking capability. So if you see uh, this is TQ, 
So see, this is the time up to uh, this uh, then it's again from talking capacity. So um, she's uh, turn of time uh, um, during this uh, time all the excess carriers uh, from four layers of the ice here are uh, removed. So the turn of uh, time is divided into two intervals. One is uh, reverse recovery time and another is get recovery time. So um, that is reverse recovery time and get recovery time which is shown here. This is reverse recovery time and this is uh, get recovery time. So actually in, again this reverse recovery time uh, divided into T1, T1, T2, T3. So we will discuss one after another. So after T1, uh, and it kind of builds up in the uh, reverse uh, direction with the same uh, DIGT slope. The reason for the reversal of anode current is due to the presence of charge carrier stored in the uh, four layers. I told you at instant T3, when uh, reverse equality current has fall um, nearly to zero value, uh, N junction J1 and J3 recover and SCR is able to block the reverse voltage and at the end of the reverse recovery period it's the middle jumps and J2 still has charges therefore uh, the thyristor is not able to block the, the hot voltage at T3 so the charge carrier says uh, junction 2 cannot flow to the external uh, uh, circuit and, um, therefore they must decay only by decompensation and this is possible if a uh, reverse voltage is maintained at this stage. And the time taken for this is called the gate recovery time, what is here. So the digester turn on for TQ is dependent upon the magnitude of the power effect, uh, DIDT, mm. and the uh, time of uh, competition and jumps in temperature. So that is explained here. See, this time uh, it is uh, reverse recovery time. So reverse recovery means from Janssen to J1 and J3. And uh, this is for uh, uh, gate recovery time. Uh, so, this two uh, time period, uh, reverse recovery time and gate recovery time, um, in total, they give you the uh, say, turn of time. Okay, now, so um, as I told you, that uh, when uh, uh, um, so now. Um, um, circuit, uh, it's again I'm telling. So at instant T3, when reverse recovery current has fallen nearly to zero, or when an N junction, uh, J1 and J3 recover and this can be blocked and reverse voltage. And at the end of uh, the reverse recovery period T3, the middle junction J2 still has charges, the thyristor is not able to block the power voltage at T3. The charge carriers at junction 2 cannot flow to the external circuit, therefore, they must take only by combination or this possible to reverse the uh, recovery voltage. Is, uh, the reverse voltage is maintained for this year, and this time to be called the get recovery time. So, now uh, circuit uh, or turn off time uh, is uh, defined uh, as the time between the instant alert current uh, becomes. Zero and at the instant uh, reverse voltage due to practical uh, circuit reaches zero. If uh, TC is uh, greater than uh, TQ, for, uh, then it is for reliable uh, turn up, otherwise, the device uh, may turn on at an undesired instant and uh, process called competition failure. Uh, Thyristor with uh, slow turn up time uh, called converter gate uh, uh, is here. Uh, like uh, phase control, electrified uh, cycle converters and AC voltage controllers and uh, SCR with uh, fast turn of time are called inverter grid SCR uh, like inverters, uh, choppers and force competition uh, inverters so this is the use so, so in uh, uh, totality uh, this is all about uh, the switching characteristics that means uh, during switching on process, either on turn on or the turn off or process, uh, the tangent or this dynamic characteristics is uh, shown in, in the thyristors, and that's all about uh, dynamic characteristics or switching characteristics.
now we'll uh, discuss the gate characteristics of uh, this here. Uh, in a uh, thyristor, uh, gate is connected uh, to the cathode to a PN junction and it uh, resembles a diode. So, uh, the VI characteristics of a gate is similar uh, to a diode, uh, but uh, varies considerably in units. The circuit which supplies uh, filing signals to the gate uh, must be designed in such a way that uh, uh, it, uh, uh, to accommodate uh, these variations, not to exceed maximum voltage and uh, power capabilities of the gate, and uh, thirdly, uh, to prevent uh, triggering from false signals or noise and lastly uh, to assure uh, desired triggering. So therefore, uh, gate triggering circuit uh, will be designed in such a way, once again I am repeating, it should be uh, capable enough to accommodate um, uh, these uh, variations of which I have told you in the very beginning, uh, not to exceed uh, the maximum voltage and power capabilities of the gate and to prevent uh, triggering from false signals or noise and to ensure our uh, desired uh, triggering. So this design uh, specification uh, say pertaining to gate categories are uh, usually provided by the manufacturer. So in, in this figure, actually in the, the gate characteristics figure, this figure one, uh, Mm, so is this uh, gate characters of typical uh, SCI. So here positive gate uh, to anode voltage is uh, VZ and positive gate to anode current is, uh, the cathode current is uh, IG. So positive gate to cathode voltage is VZ and positive gate to cathode current is IG. So this uh, depends the DC values. Now uh, applying uh, gate drive increases the minority carrier uh, density in the inner pillar and thereby facilitates uh, the reverse breakdown of the junction uh, J2. Uh, there are uh, maximum and minimal limits of um, gate voltage and gate current to prevent uh, the power and destruction of the junction 3 and uh, to provide uh, reliable trigger. So, you know, junction uh, 2 is the junction between the second and third tier, uh, and junction 3 is between the third and fourth tier. So, similarly, uh, there is also a limit of, on the maximum instantaneous gate for DC crystals. This is nothing but the product of uh, the gate voltage and gate current, uh, DC, IG. And the permissible maximum value of this uh, uh, PG max. Uh, power distribution depends on the type of the gate drive. The gate signal uh, used can be uh, DC or AC or a sequence of high frequency pulses. So with pulse firing, a uh, larger amount of instantaneous gate power distribution can be tolerated. If the average value of uh, say gate power uh, PG is within the permissible limits, uh, hence uh, gate can be driven harder, harder means uh, greater uh, BZ and definitely uh, greater uh, IG, uh, greater gate voltage and greater gate current. When false firing is used, so it can be uh, driven uh, in a harder way. So this provides uh, for uh, reliable and faster uh, turn of the device. So all possible uh, safe operating uh, points for the gate are bounded by the low and the high current limits of the VI characteristics, uh, maximum gate voltage and hyperbola dependent the maximum gate power. So within these uh, boundaries, uh, there are three distinct uh, uh, regions of importance. So the first region uh, uh, is way which is lies uh, near origin and is defined by the maximum gate voltage that will not trigger any uh, device. 
and this value is obtained at the maximum uh, rated uh, uh, junction temperature usually 125 degree centigrade and gate must be gate must be operated in this region whenever uh, forward bias is applied across the thyristor and triggering is not necessary in other words this region sets a limit on the maximum false signals that can be tolerated in the uh, gate firing circuits so this is the region this region here yeah. So only uh, this is the access line. Okay. Now, uh, uh, the second reason is further defined uh, by the uh, minimum uh, value of gate voltage and current are required to trigger all uh, devices at the minimum rated junction temperature. And uh, this region. Uh, contains the actual minimum firing points of all devices uh, in a sense uh, it is a forbidden uh, uh, region for the firing circuit uh, because uh, signal in this uh, region may not always uh, say um, um, uh, fire all the devices or never fire at all so well and OV in this figure is well and OV uh, they are representing uh, the minimum um, gate voltage and gate current uh, uh, limits uh, uh, respectively. So this is region and this is forbidden region. Okay. So the third region is left is this region. Okay. So this region, the third region, so which is the largest. So we uh, got uh, three regions so far. So this is the uh, first region, this is the second region, this is the forbidden region. The first region is uh, the uh, where the maximum gate voltage uh, that will not trigger any device. And uh, because uh, this is this value is obtained at maximum rate of junction temperature. And get much property in this uh, region has no fault device is applied across the register and trigger is not necessary. Definitely, um, it is a forward because of what is when it is excess the forward because it is a so it get will turn on and uh, uh, without any uh, get signals. Uh, sorry, the AC will turn on without any get signal. So this region sets a uh, limit on the maximum pulse uh, signals and that can be tolerated uh, in the gate by uh, circuit. The second region is the forbidden uh, region, which is. Uh, in the minimum uh, gate voltage and current required to trigger all devices at the minimum uh, rated junction temperature. And this region contains uh, actual uh, minimum firing points for all devices. Uh, this is the forbidden uh, region uh, because the firing circuit uh, signal in this region may not always fire all devices, so never forward. So this is dependent by oil and OV, it's for minimum. Uh, gate voltage and uh, current. And the third region, which is the largest one, uh, and uh, ordinarily uh, say this is the largest and so the limits of the gate signal for reliable firing. Ordinarily, uh, signal in the lower left part of this region is adequate of uh, firing. Uh, for application, uh, first turn on is required. A hard firing uh, signal in the upper uh, right part, uh, upper right part of the region may be needed. So in this figure, so curve when and uh, this one and this when uh, correspond to possible speed of the characteristics of this year for the same rating. And for the best uh, results, the operating point is, uh, which is between uh, this one and S2. It can be changed from this one and this and must be as close as possible to the, this constant, uh, say, uh, gate power loss, that's PG. Curve and must be contained within the maximum and minimum limits of the gate voltage and gate current. So, this provides the necessary hard drive uh, for the device. For selecting operating point, uh, usually a load line uh, uh, of the gate source voltage is equal to OH. Uh, this one is drawn uh, 
as A is D. This one is A is D. Uh, the gradient of this uh, load line A is D is how much? Yeah, this is OH by OD. Uh, we will give the required uh, gate source resistance uh, RG. And the maximum value of the uh, of this series uh, resistance is given by the line A E G. This is the maximum value, and the minimum value can be obtained uh, by drawing uh, a line A C tangential to the uh, um, car P Z. Thyristor uh, that is shown here. So a thyristor. Uh, may be considered to be a charge control uh, uh, device just higher the magnitude of the um, gate current pulse lesser the uh, is the time uh, needed to inject uh, the required uh, charge for turning on the thyristor uh, as you know uh, the thyristor is a, a charge control device therefore uh, the issues turn on uh, can be reduced by using gate current of higher magnitude and it should be ensured that the pulse width is sufficient to allow the anode current uh, to exceed the lacing current. In practice, the gate pulse width uh, is usually taken as equal to or greater than the issue turn on time. This one. So, if uh, T is the pulse width, uh, then on this figure, so this must be greater than the turn on time. With pulse firing. Uh, if the frequency of firing uh, F is known, the peak instantaneous gate for distribution of EG max can be obtained as uh, this of EG max equal to BGIG. BGIG is by EFT. Uh, F equal to 1 by T1, uh, this is the frequency of, uh, of firing uh, or pulse repetition uh, rate in the heart and T is the pulse rate. Okay, in second. So this is shown here. So as the duty cycle is uh, defined as the ratio of uh, pulse on the pulse on period to the periodic time of pulse. So in figure this it is shown the pulse on period is uh, T and the period time is T1. Okay, and so duty cycle delta will be given by T1 equal to F into T. Okay. And then uh, this PG uh, uh, from this equation, this equation, like right, the PG uh, average divided by delta, there must be less than equal to PG max. So this is the most important uh, criteria for uh, proper uh, getting proper get characteristics to turn in a safely uh, here. So that's all about. Uh, the gate characteristics. So, in uh, today's discussion, uh, firstly we have uh, uh, seen the switching characteristics, which is nothing but uh, uh, characteristics of uh, the ACR during uh, turn on and turn off uh, time, uh, turn on um, situation. That is mostly this is also known as the tangent operation or dynamic uh, characteristics of the ACR, and um, we got. Uh, the how the turn on period is divided into the three part so delay time, rise time, and spread time, and how uh, turn off time is divided into say uh, get recovery time and uh, recombination time in the two parts. And um, lastly, in get characteristics, we have uh, seen uh, uh, it is it has three definite reason. Uh, one region is OA, this is a this is positive region, and this is the operating region. So, while if it is the uh, gate is driven, since it's a charge control device, so it is actually hard driven, or uh, it is uh, so mostly pulse uh, triggering circuit we are using for the gate to drive the uh, gate uh, uh, hardly or uh, for hard driven uh, issues. And, uh, with this, we uh, conclude uh, today's uh, lecture about uh, this uh, switching characteristics and gate gate characteristics. I uh, hope uh, all of you have um, understood uh, these uh, two topics. And if you have any uh, queries or any 
Thank you. Ask me. Follow.